Well, Max, a superb win, I think is the, uh, the best way to sum it up. How do you reflect on four days against Nottinghamshire? Uh, yeah, pretty comprehensive. Uh, having lost the toss in difficult conditions, I thought we um, did so well to get up to that score. Um, great innings, is, um, you know, individually and as a team, um, and then the way we bowled, um, you know, to make up for last week, which we're all desperately disappointed about, wanting to come back uh, with a bang, and I think we've certainly done that. Yeah, the uh, loss last week, obviously. Do you think this is the ideal tonic? To that being able to bounce back straight away. Yeah, um, because you know, number of things really. Context of the season, where we were with the league, um, our proud record at home, getting in front of the game, having a 140 lead. So to let that slip, I think we're probably down to our mentality more than anything else. So we wanted to show that that wasn't the case. It was just a one-off, a couple of bad days at the office, and um, the attitude we got in training this week, uh, the way everyone spoke pre-game and then backed it up with actions. It's easy to say in words, but backing it up in actions, coming off the pitch countless times is not easy, um, batting or bowling, but um, I thought we were superb and um, you know somewhere back near to our best this week. And talking about the conditions, obviously you said it's not easy to come off and go back on and quite a lot of that with the breaks in play. What do you as a coach maybe do or the methods that you have to try and make that process as easy as it can be? I didn't have to do a lot this week because everyone was um, you know, so determined to to kind of put the rights wrong from last week. So everyone were motivated up there as they always are anyway. But um, yeah, skipper and senior players making sure everyone ready to go back out and uh, you know just reflecting where we were at the game. Um, you know, when we batted to make sure we didn't lose a wicket straight after going back on and when we bowled to make sure we didn't give many you know, loose deliveries and loose overs to get away from us. So um, I think we started well, particularly when there were breaks in play um, and that contributed to a, to a big win. Yeah. And the mention of the skipper, obviously he was one of uh, a lot of very important big performances. How pleasing was it to see senior players like that step up? Yeah, I mean, Tom had an incredible year last year in Championship cricket. It's not gone quite as well this year, but it's not for a want of trying. Um, you know, and he's been one who's been banging the drum this week about making sure we bounce back and three games left. So, uh, really pleased for him. Um, I know he likes to lead from the front on the field as well with it, with um, his performances, and he's certainly done that this week. And how about Harmy as well? Uh, nine wickets in the game. Uh, plenty, uh, plenty to talk about. Yeah, it's been a. A tough one this year for Harmy. I mean, he's still up there in the leading wicket takers, but he's just not had any kind of look at all. It's been amazing, really. Some drop catches. Um, you know, it sometimes goes like that, but it's a testament to him and his character, the way he keeps going. And, um, you know, to get the wickets this week, even though he's not got his name on the board up there in the dressing room, he's still had a massive contribution with his wicket. His catch this morning was incredible. Big wicket, that. And uh, he's 50 as well in the first innings. And it might have been overshadowed slightly but we did of course give a first class debut out this game Luke Benkin and what has he uh, he's obviously earned that but uh, how do you reflect on his journey to this point and uh, his performance in the game? Yeah I mean he's someone who's been with us for a few years now um, and um, you know he had a, a bad injury last year with his stress fracture but I think you know those who know the club um, know what a special talent he is you know leg spinner who, who's a fine batsman as well and we've seen progress last year um, as I said was tough but this year in the T20 I think he played 12 out of the 14 played really well in the Metro Bank um, and to get his first class debut with the performance he's put in has been well deserved and um, I know he's delighted to get a win on his first uh, his first start so hopefully he can continue that. Yeah 100% and uh, just on the theme of continuing that two more games in the season what's the message now going forward as we look to finish it strongly? To win both games um, two tough games obviously Warwickshire and Surrey but um, we've not had a great record up at Edgebaston last couple of years so that's one thing we want to try and get right um, and then last game against Surrey um, again we you know we as I said apart from last week we've got a proud record here with the results so um, yeah the motivation is to finish as strong as possible and get as high up that league as we can.